First launched in India in 2016, the Isuzu V-Cross has carved itself a nice little niche as a hardy pickup truck for adventurers and lifestyle buyers. Over this video, we'll tell you of the top 5 things you need to know about the recently launched 2021 iteration of the V-Cross and the new Isuzu Highlander. First things first, Isuzu is treading clear of calling this an all-new V-Cross. And that's because it isn't. While markets such as Thailand have received the next generation of the V-Cross, the model for India carries on as before. The big change is hidden from view, and that is the switch to a BS6 compliant engine. The V-Cross has a rugged appeal, and the almost 5.3 meter length only helps the Isuzu make its presence felt. Interestingly, the cargo bed area offers a load carrying capacity of 180 kilos for the automatics and 215 kilos for the manual. LED projector headlamps and diamond cut alloys are some of the elements on the Isuzu V-Cross and as before, there's a long list of accessories to spruce up your V-Cross including a hard lid and canopy. There's nothing new to report of the V-Cross's interiors, which like before is built to last, but the design is very functional and looks rather basic, especially in a vehicle costing north of 20 lakh rupees. Space in general is good and both the rows offer ample seat comfort with ample charging and storage provisions. The V-Cross gets two variants, Z and Z Prestige. The Z variant gets kit like bi-LED headlamps, 18-inch alloys, auto climate control, 7-inch touchscreen, power folding mirrors, and a parking camera among the important features. The fully loaded Z Prestige version adds a power driver's seat, cruise control, leather at upholstery, ESP, traction control, hill descent control, and side and curtain airbags to the list. The 2021 V-Cross's engine lineup has been trimmed. The older 2.5-litre diesel engine is now only available on the commercial vehicle range and the sole engine on the 2021 V-Cross is a 1.9-litre four-cylinder diesel unit. This engine was formerly reserved for the top-spec Z Prestige variant in the BS4 era. With the upgrade for BS6 emission norms, power and torque, have seen a jump of 13 horsepower and 10 newton meters to 163 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque. What's more is that V-Cross is available either as a four-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive with a manual and an automatic transmission on offer. The Highlander is an all-new entry-level variant of this lifestyle pickup truck and what's interesting is that it does not spot a single V-Cross badge on its exteriors. This variant gets the bare essentials like power window, remote key entry, a manual aircon, power steering, ABS with EBD and dual airbags. Like the V-Cross, it is powered by the same 163 horsepower 1.9 litre diesel engine but this version is only available as a rear-wheel drive and only with a manual transmission. Enthusiasts on a tighter budget will be left disappointed with no four-wheel drive on offer. In terms of pricing, the entry-level Highlander is priced at 17 lakh X showroom. The next variant in the current lineup is the V-Cross Z Automatic two-wheel drive variant that's priced at 20 lakh rupees. Someone looking for four-wheel drive capability will need to spend big with the V-Cross Z four-wheel drive manual variant priced at rupees 21 lakh. The range-topping Z Prestige version comes only as four-wheel drive and only with an automatic transmission costing rupees 24 and a half lakh translating to an on-road price in the region of 30 lakh in some states. The Isuzu Highlander and V-Cross don't have any direct competition at the moment 
and have their unique appeal among adventurers. The Isuzu could also draw in a few Mahindra Tha buyers who need the added practicality of an extra set of doors. The pickup space in India is expected to grow in the future with Toyota considering the Fortuner based Hilux and Ford looking at the Endeavor based Ranger Raptor as a low volume model. We will be reviewing the 2021 Isuzu V Cross soon, so stay tuned for more. In the meanwhile, let us know your thoughts on the pickup truck in the comment section below. And while you're at it, do subscribe to the Autocar India YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest from us.